Hey guys, what's up? It is Dujud6 here, and I am back for album reviews, and I'm going to kick it off with something older. I kind of told you guys that I wanted to do um, more album reviews that aren't so recent, newly released, and stuff like that, and I thought doing an album review on Paramore's debut album, All We Know Is Falling, would be a good way to start, because I believe it was a month ago now, they had a, that it was the 15th birthday of this album, which is crazy, because 15 years is a long time, and this album is kind of what started, you know, Paramore off with this pop rock, pop punk success that has transitioned into something a lot different than they are now. Um, but the thing about this album was it had a lot of potential and it was the band's kind of first break and such. So singles off this album are Emergency and Pressure. These are the two songs that Paramore fans probably know um, or should know unless they've lived under a rock. And these are two of their more fast-paced, catchy songs. They're a little bit more aggressive as far as the music is done. It's a little bit more heavier on the pop rock side. I kind of um, look at them more as pop rock than pop punk, but I think they have influences of both on this uh, album. Those two singles are kind of what started the band's like first success and first real break. I think this album really helped them become more mature and grow a lot. It's still a good album to listen to, like I'm not trying to hate it right off the bat here, but a lot of the songs, like the chord progressions and um, harmonies and melodies sound a little bit similar. Um, mostly I've noticed on Emergency Pressure and um, the intro track, All We Know. The album also has some really poppy, upbeat kind of tracks, um, such as Whoa, uh, which is one of their more fast-paced songs, but it's got this uh, chorus in it that's very poppy, easy to sing along to, very catchy song, and also the tune Here We Go Again, which has a little bit of a different beat to it, um, more of like a groove to it, but still has that pop sound, so I feel like those two songs people can get into pretty quickly aside from the two singles off this album. And then this band's potential shines even more with songs like Conspiracy, My Heart, and Brighter. I think those three songs are where Haley Williams shows her uh, vocal range probably the best. It shows like what she can do on this debut album and how much, like, like I said, how much potential this band has with um, the instruments, the lyrics, like those three songs like are my favorites for a reason. I think they hit you pretty hard as far as like the message behind them and a lot of this album has very bright shining melodies that are very easy to sing along to and catchy and they'll get stuck in your head. Um, pressure being one of them, Emergency being one of them, I think Brighter and Woe are two pretty catchy songs that are really easy to sing along to and to pick up on the chorus a lot and gets people definitely more into this album. But I think overall the best song on this album that just really showcases the band's full potential is My Heart. It really shows um, Haley Williams' talent as a vocalist and the song is just beautifully written and dynamically has something really nice about it that just works with the way the lyrics are and the way Haley's uh, singing. So, and it ends the album, I think, on a perfect note based on that song. It definitely has a lot of reflective songs on it, like a lot of self-evaluation um, as talked about on this album with Let This Go and Conspiracy and Franklin and My Heart. I think those songs talk about yourself also as well as somebody else. Overall, I think this album was a good start to uh, Paramore's career and Paramore's success. This album is full of catchy songs that will get stuck in your head. Um, if you're really into the pop rock, pop punk sounds, you'll definitely like this album. My only complaint is there's just not enough variety on it. I mean, you have a few songs that take it back a little bit, slow down, like Franklin and My Heart, and you have amazingly 
written lyrics on this album, but some of the songs musically just sound very similar and melodically sound very similar in tone. I really give this album a 9 out of 10 um, just because I love it so much and it's definitely something I still go back to with time as a really big Paramore fan because they're one of my favorite bands and I love them so much and Hayley Williams is incredible and I think she really shows like her full potential as a vocalist um, from 2005 on this album. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this album review. I, I kind of tried to keep it a little bit short and sweet and to the point because I didn't want to drag these album reviews out and try to bore you guys so I kind of I'm trying to target things a little bit more easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this album review. Comment below and let me know what other albums you would like to see in the near future. I might possibly do a re-review of Circus Survives Juntrina just because it's that album's 10th anniversary and their 10th anniversary, 10 year anniversary tour for that album is coming up. And I feel like when I reviewed that album it was like three years ago and it was awful. This video a like guys if you want to see more videos it'll let me know that I'm doing something right here and I'll definitely be writing up some more reviews in the near future. Probably a little bit more throwback stuff um, like what you see now. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more album reviews or me talk about music because um, I, I do more than just album reviews on this channel. I'll talk about different topics. Um, hopefully put up another cover so soon. Um, I might possibly have my friend um, do the vocals for it when I do the guitar parts. Check down below for my social networking sites. You can follow me on those. I post on them pretty daily. Oh, and also, because I have to point this out in every video, I saw MGK um, August 15th last night, technically, for making this video. Um, and he was incredible. I saw him at the Palladium in Worcester, Mass. And he was great and I got this shirt road trippin tour subscribe for more videos and uh, stay brutal and stay tuned for more videos see ya later